A lot of people ask me how I seal uh, tile and grout. I use this product here. What's so special about this product is you can go over the whole tile and grout, no matter, no matter if it's natural stone or ceramic. What's up YouTube, Tommy here from Green Rhino. I've been documenting my journey on this channel from a part-time hustle as a machinist to operate in a very successful cleaning company. My goal is to show you what I was looking for when I was starting out, sharing the cleaning solutions I use, the equipment, so I can help others thinking about getting into the cleaning industry. And maybe, just maybe, I'm going to make that first step. It can change your life like it did me. Don't worry industry, I'm not trying to be the know-it-all carpet cleaning, but I am trying to be an example of what could be. Alright guys, so we're at our first job of the day. We're doing tile and carpet. As you can tell, the tile grout is really, really dirty. We're also going to seal this. Um, yeah, see. We're also going to seal this area. We're going to do all the carpet. Looks like we got some pet problems right in here. So hopefully, um, these aren't permanent stain or anything. We'll definitely get rid of the, the odor problems. Laundry room's not that bad. Bathroom? Eh, not that bad at all either. Kitchen's the uh the worst as far as grout. And this bathroom, not that bad. So we're gonna work our way out. We always work our way out when we're cleaning anything. Um, so we're gonna clean the tile and then last, and then we'll come back and clean all the the uh, carpet. And then last, we'll, we'll seal that, uh, the kitchen grout. All right, stay tuned. All right, some scrubbers, good for details, like if you go over and it doesn't look like it uh, cleaned up too well, a little quick scrub, keep one of those in each one of our pockets. Behind toilets, small areas, another scrubber along the edges and stuff like that. Um, spinner, we're gonna pre-scrub with this. Um, I don't have the stiff brushes on there yet, but it should do fine for this job. Carpet details in the pump up, and uh, yeah, easy clean. I'm gonna pre spray these first two bathrooms and put scrub ahead of me, and I'll just be extracting. I'm spraying in the middle of the room, and we're spreading it out with the, the microfiber along the corners. So they're not to spray the walls or anything like that. So the main thing when doing tile and grout is chemistry and agitation. So if your agitation agitation isn't good enough. If you're not hitting every line, making sure you got a good scrub on it, then um, you're gonna have a tough job with extracting. The whole point is to, to do a, a job like this or any other part of the uh, tile jobs. Do on the prep first. Make for a quick, quicker, easier job at the end and better. getting into the carpet cleaning business I do offer a step-by-step -step course below all my videos in a link how to start a carpet cleaning business not only a technical side but how to get people to call you the business side all right and if you like any of the tools I use also below all the videos that I post back to the video
one I did add an oxygen base um, uh, booster to this, Eco Oxy from Uh Just to hit the organic stuff. The stuff is kind of dim here and there. So just kind of doing an overall um, spray on it. It's going to help with the stuff that we can't really see too much and prevent things from wicking back up, most importantly. There's a lot of pet stains in here. not even fully dry yet. We haven't did this side yet. We did this side. We can do this as we walk out after the carpet. That over there, if you're new to the business, you run across a spot that just doesn't want to clean up. And you notice the fibers are all matted up. It's not that it's dirty, it's worn fiber and it's going to look like a dirty spot. So make sure you, you let your customers know about that. Um, they don't know sometimes or most of the time, so just let them know. But what you can do... A lot of people ask me how I seal uh, tile and grout. I use this product here. What's so special about this product is you can go over the whole tile and grout, no other no matter if it's natural stone or ceramic. Um, no more um, going in between the grout lines, getting on your knees and taking forever. You spray this down, you spread it out. Um, it soaks into the grout lines and flashes off the top of the, top of the tile. So, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Now. And now I'm getting this soaked. So you kind of go into the middle of the tile, not so you don't get any overspray on the, any of the cabinets and stuff over the lines. You can use pump-up sprayer to do this too. This is a small enough area to where this little thing here will work just fine. Okay. And then you just Once you discover this, guys, and trust me, I've done a lot of tile using this, and people are kind of nervous on it. I've never had any callbacks with any complaints. I do a lot of tile, a lot of ceramic, porcelain, and natural. So. So that's gonna dry, it's gonna take about a half hour to dry and then the customer will be able to walk, walk on the top of it. The grout lines will take about 48 hours to cure all the way, about 24 hours to dry all the way. So the customer won't see the results until uh, tomorrow as far as how it's gonna look. As far as the, the uh, seal um, being uh, fully protected give it 48 hours 
so you can walk on it you know um, you just don't want to spill anything on those grout lines the same stuff here could be used also for sealing uh, uh protecting the uh, fibers too So you can do a whole house really quick doing this method. Thank God for Sager. Mark Sager. Yeah, that guy. Sager Super Sailor. I use my own encapsulation or my own um, Deodorization, deodorization enzymes also through him. Sager side eucalyptus. Smells real good. All right, that's it, guys. You might see like a little bit of um, foamy at the top. That's all right. It's all dry good. All right, that's it, guys. See you next time.